The government is the largest employer in the formal sector, employing over 61,000 public servants. This accounts almost 40% of the total workforce in the country, consuming over one-third gross domestic product, where 85% goes towards administrative costs and salaries. But many commentators have labeled the public service as ineffective. Its performance does not equate the cost. Finding a solution is vital at this stage. Veteran politician Sir Julius Chan says it should be privatized. We should somehow privatize uh, the public service so there's a higher and fire. Right. Because some of them are staying for too long and become stagnant and are subjected to the direction of a politician who is only coming for five years at a time. When we went around and asked some key public servants, different views were raised. Today, the School of Public Administration boss in the country, Michael Barobe, had his say. Training provider, our only job is to upskill the public servants to become competent at the workplace. So if they either they privatize or it, let us it see it as a, 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 a public sector, uh, we, we would not make any changes there. Our only job is providing training, competency training, so that people become competent in the workplace, either in the private sector or in the public sector. So that one much difference to us. On the perspective of the Teachers Community Finance CEO, Karai Moria said in order to improve service delivery, privatization of the public service sector can be effective. Uh, but, you know, I believe that there are certain um, sectors that need to be privatized so that it improves the service delivery to, to the communities and because in the private sector uh, the management of these uh, organizations is more effective and I think that would really improve, improve the service delivered. Senior officer with the Department of Rural Implementation Development, Nick Mane says privatizing the public service could be a threat to the national sovereignty. Give uh, such a large amount of money to our private sector, uh, then we are undermining our constitution, we are undermining our Public Finance Management Act. There has to be government in place to make sure that these things have been delivered and been done in the most appropriate uh, manner. So. The concept of privatizing the public sector came about back in early 2020 when the Prime Minister James Marape announced the government would introduce performance based contracts for public servants to improve the work efficiently. Grace Papiali, National, MTV News.